Good day, everyone. I hope that you are doing extraordinary well. I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and listen to the message that's on my heart. I really do appreciate it. So the theme from me tonight is Christian character. So uh, one of the most important things um, of being a disciple of Jesus Christ is not your charisma, but it's actually your Christian character. So the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit is really important as we discussed a few weeks back. But the fruit of the Holy Spirit is what really identifies a true follower of Christ. As it is written in Matthew, by, a, by the fruit they carry, you will recognize them. So let, let us read together in Romans 5, verse 3 to 5. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who, has, who was given to us. And let us read in uh, James 1 verse 2 to 3 as well, where it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. So I recently had the conversation we all have nowadays, that is the conversation, what has COVID done in my life and what has COVID done to my job and other people's jobs and other people's lives in general. Now, when speaking about this, it's, it's almost natural to think um, about a time in your life when your life maybe wasn't as you, as you want it to be or maybe when you went through a difficult time in your life. And maybe that time for you is the current time. But talking to anyone about something that they went through in their life, about a difficult time, um, it's almost always certain that they'll tell you they came out stronger on the other side, be it physical, physical or mental. Now, in the scripture, in Romans, um, Paul speaks about how tribulations, produ how tribulations uh, produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. Now, it's important to note that perseverance is really key here because if you go through a tribulation and you do not persevere, the rest won't follow. So you need to persevere to build character and to then for character to build hope. So in James, James um, speaks about how we should try and find joy um, in the difficult times. Again, because if you persevere, you will build character through that time. If you persevere in the difficult times. And if you can find joy in that, it's also great. So something that always touches me um, is listening to other people's testimonies. Because when you listen to someone's testimony and really listen to what they are saying, you can almost always um, catch up or hear how God um, was there for them in that time and how he did something for them in that time and maybe at that time they just didn't realize it but afterwards it's revealed to them and then if they think back about it they can see God's um, hand being there guiding them catching them where they fall and just helping them persevere through that time so a lot of times when I hear about someone going through a tough time I can't help but think that it sounds like an unwritten unfinished or not unwritten but yet, uh, rather unfinished testimony so you can just think about them um, somewhere in the future, speaking back about this time, but now obviously they have gone through it and they've finished the race. So then they can, they can deliver the testimony as a whole. So I think it's, it's sometimes maybe encouraging in a way to think about it like this. If you're going through a tough time or if someone else is going through a tough time, maybe think about it as a future testimony, as what is God actually doing for you now? Maybe then it will open your eyes to see that. And maybe you will just get a new perspective on that. So today, I'd like to encourage you that if we are going through a tough time, to do persevere. Because at the end of the day, if you do persevere, you will build character and you will get, um, go out stronger on the other side. And if you're not maybe going through a tough time now, bless, bless the Lord for that. But if you're not going through a tough time right now, then I'd really like to encourage you to share your testimony. As your testimony can help encourage others who are going through a tough time to persevere and yeah, just to encourage them that it will get better and that it will get through this and that, that they should not um, stop focusing on Jesus. Persevere and focusing on Jesus is key. So just to recap, perseverance is key to building Christian character and sharing your testimony is really important to help others and encourage others um, to also persevere. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, that we can go through tough times, Father, but that we can know that we are not alone in them, Father. Thank you that you will not send anything on our path in our way but that we can't handle, Father. Thank you that you are there for us. Thank you. Thank you that you have prepared a way, Father. Thank you that we can walk in your footsteps and just be disciples of you, of the Lord, Father, and that we can just, you know, that you just have prepared a way for us, Father. 
Father, I pray today that when we go through tri tribulations, that we won't look into the darkness, Father, but that we will look to the light, that we will look to you, Father. I pray that we won't um, just be down, Father, but that we will just be excited for, for that time and just find joy in that tribulation, knowing that we are building Christian character, Father, that we are building character that will, at the end of the day, just glorify you as well, Father. Thank you that you are there for us and thank you that we can glory and that we can bring glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for taking this time. I really appreciate it. And I really hope that um, you can take something away from this and that you can just be encouraged by it. Thanks.